Hello, my dearest confidant. Been away for a little while, um, and I usually don't make videos like this, but I am in a place where I want to be transparent and also speak up for myself. And I think that this is one of those ways that I can do that. I, um, as you guys know, I got um, one of my horses, Birdie, from uh, Rescue back in, I think, June. And um, at that time, I also had decided to rehome one of my other horses, Cisco, um, because the bond had, it's, it wasn't the same as it was before and I needed another horse that I could ride and feel safe around and he no longer fit that. And at the time I had given Cisco to this rescue thinking that I was going to get another horse in return. I wasn't asking for money, I wanted a horse that um, I could bond with and add to my little format here. And so we made an agreement, uh, the transporter and I made an agreement. I did everything through her, um, but this rescue is now claiming that they didn't know anything about it after they had already claimed that they did. And so I, I let Cisco go in June and um, now they're refusing to do anything to help to replace him or um, give me the funds that I would be able to use in order to purchase another horse. And on top of that, the horse that I did get, Birdie, um, you guys have all seen how malnourished she was. And she has had some health issues since I've gotten her. And even though her Coggins was clear, um, she's had some other issues, um, minor, but they still cost money. And I have not been able to put her into any sort of use yet. And so um, I just started doing some really light training with her this past week um, and she's responsive to it, but I'm not sure that I'll ever be able to ride her. They're saying that she's sound, but they also haven't been able to get a really good look at her back legs. And um, the back right one is the one that I am concerned with and that's the one that she tends to favor. And so I paid for her um, and and I understand that rescues come with a risk, right? And when I rehomed her, she was, in my mind, gonna be a companion horse. Um, but I was hoping to be able to ride her because she was being ridden in the state that she was in. And I wanted to give her time for more rehab before I started trying to, to train. And she isn't working out the way that I had hoped. And so, anyways, I'm gonna put up the name of this rescue and I say it with quotes because they're saying that they're a nonprofit, and um, I'll insert the photo here. And um, it's not. And you'll see that they're not a registered business, not with the state of Texas. Not a registered rescue with the state of Texas. And so in reality, I would really like to be reimbursed for the money that I spent on Birdie since I wasn't able to get a replacement for Cisco. At this point, I don't trust them because they haven't lived up to anything that they've said. They did send me another gelding, a draft gelding, um, but he didn't fit and so we had sent him back. By the way, they brought him to me without me being ready for him either. I didn't get to try him out before they brought him all the way here. And I wasn't pleased with that either. Um, so anyways, if you are considering looking for um, a reputable horse rescue here in the state of Texas, I do not recommend them. Um, and if for some reason the owner of this rescue decides to do right by me and either replace the funds or replace me with a sound beginner friendly horse, then this video is going to stay up and it's going to circulate around. Now, I know that my circle of influence is small, but I hope that I can reach other circles of influences that will help to get this issue corrected for other people that may be considering using this rescue and also to steer people clear of it because they don't have the best intent in mind for other people that may come to visit them. So, um, yeah, I mean, spread the word and if... Nothing else, at least I said what I needed to say. Um, I trusted them and I am thoroughly disappointed. Until next time, my dearest confidant, I love you.